An exact timeline indicating the birth of the genre is hard to pinpoint. In terms of style, lyrical content, and composition, many artists, producers, musicians, and music lovers had toyed with early semblances of the genre from as far back as the 1990s. Artists like Yardi and Shepdog, Crocodile and Alicat chanted and rapped over dancehall and soca beats, giving them a local flair. From about 2009, young music lovers and aspiring producers toyed with a fusion of dancehall, soca, and zouk loops to serve as musical accompaniment for the catchy and distinctly Lucian lyrics. Around this time, even though songs like Buy Gas and Wine on the Coco contended for road match crowns, most people refused to acknowledge that a formal genre was being created. It must also be known that the genre was created by and for young musicians neglected by our established musicians, musical engineers, and production houses. Hence the abnormal lyrical content which now serves as a base for the genre. As the musical style grew, the rural influence of solo and serenal became fused with the new musical art form and greatly impacted its musical framework. As such, the genre came to be known as a fusion of dancehall, zouk, and soca, having its rural-inspired African solo influence at its core. As interest in the genre grew, a notable similarity to the Angolan-style kuduro was identified. Key players in the birth of the new genre around that same period unwittingly decided to cop the name kuduro. With its growing popularity, locals were now eager to distinguish and identify the genre came to call it Denry Soka or Valley Music. Within the rank and file of artists, however, the name Kuduro came to be accepted as the tomb for the youthful and dynamic genre. Cognizant of the clashing genres and realizing the growing interest in the music, not only in St. Lucia, but in the neighboring Isle of Martinique, radio personality Nigel Nicholas decided to brand it Lucian Kuduro. Lucian Kuduro, better known to most as the Denry segment, is taking over back in the day. His efforts and the efforts of others regarding the name would struggle for years to trump the popular name Denry Soka to the effect that the terms are now synonymous. As young persons throughout the island clamored for a Denry segment at get-togethers, limes and fets, the musical establishment and even the musical fraternity took issue with what they perceived as excessive, vulgar and raunchy lyrics and themes. Many radio stations took the firm stance to ban the genre, often crumbing under the pressure of young listeners' popular sentiments and briefly released the young artists from what they insisted was a self-imposed Kuduro jail. A pendulum swing between ban and airplay still exists with some local stations. While the international penetration of the genre becomes more and more evident, many artists continue to struggle with acceptable lyrical content. The sad reality remains that the young aspiring artists and producers continue to be viewed as lepers by the senior and established musicians who, though forced to acknowledge the genre, remain reluctant to embrace the young art form. Lucian Kuduro has left its birthland and come to be accepted in other islands in the region and is receiving airplay and rotation as far away as Europe. With an appreciation of royalties, publishing, writing, stage presence and general musical scholarship, Lucian Kuduro stands to benefit our local music industry 
just as much or even more so than other indigenous branch offs of soca music has for nations such as Trinidad, Grenada, and Dominica. The growth of the genre can best be said to have developed through three eras, with the second era being split into two sections. These groups or artists in each era are key players in the genre's development and can be viewed as champions for the cause from inception to now. Yo, level the mic up on the road, boy, and, and, and give me some reverb. You don't know this, crocodile, black lizard. Yo, chance, chance, go show yes, me better than that. Van, van, dam, and jacket, young, me better than the artists of this period heralded the coming of this genre with what they would have then classified as releases within the soca, dancehall and zouk genres respectively, or at times a blend between them. In doing so, these artists unwittingly birthed what would later come to be known as Lucian Kuduro. This period's notable artists in alphabetical order are Alicat, Crocodile, Exodus, Shepdog, Yardie. These hits dating back to the 1990s and early 2000s would provide that flavor that a DJ would essentially need to host any successful young local party. Every year them girls complaining, man jumping up to high, they swinging on the melbourne, they must see no in or about 2009, a slew of new artists and producers would join the artists of the formative period to crystallize what then came to be called Denry or Valley music. These artists can be said to be founders of modern Kuduro, unbound by the St. Lucia Carnival calendar May to August, which restricted most local soca artists this group was unconventional and unrelenting in the quality and timing of releases. Filling the vacuum left by a lack of local music outside of the short carnival season calendar, these artists carved out and crystallized the musical genre. This period's notable artists in alphabetical order are DRC, LT, Mighty, Moto, and Serbans. While some artists stood as the face or rather the voice of this new genre with the catchy yet controversial lyrics, many other artists offered their musical acumen over this period. Popular rhythms like the Just Drums rhythm produced by Simeon DRC Theodore and the Revolt rhythm produced by Satish Mathre in collaboration with Jamin Records. <laughs> By 2013, a new group of artists and producers would emerge to complement the already existing group, thereby adding to the foundation built over the preceding decade. The constant controversy over the crude sexual lyrics did little to stem the intrigue that a growing following was coming to have in this new genre. Quite the opposite, amid much backlash, the request for a Denry Soka or Valley segment became more and more commonplace. This period's notable artists in alphabetical order are Black Boy, Bosla, Freezy, Messi, Migos and Mata. As the genre grew, so too did the number of young artists willing to develop the rhythmic styling and production of the now distinct genre. Producers and production houses, KMD Audio Productions, Young Boss Entertainment, Chrome Productions and Famous Productions would emerge to complement the growing genre and leave their respective marks. Your 
What a miracle When you touch your toe And you bend down early Which guy? This guy? That guy? Mr. Guy? Which guy? This guy? That guy? Mr. Guy? Which guy? This guy? That guy? Mr. Guy? Which guy? This guy? That guy? Na who is a half half? Some do la half half Two bad guys say half half Na who is a half half? Two bad guys say half half Na who is a half half? Two bad guys say half half Na who is a half half? La ni fam Postela pou mwen sa vacuum Tout bout mwen ka vacuum Though still grappling to secure acceptance from many facets of the St. Lucian music and cultural fraternity, the genre has succeeded in becoming recognized locally as mainstream. Due in no small part to the efforts of local DJs DJ Cleus, Sir Lancelot, DJ Dale and DJ Leas, and the influential efforts of Lashley Bendo. Moto's Fox hey, Productions. And Thigerson Penn Joseph Studio 758. Lucian Kuduro has recently benefited from local soca giants Ezra and Sidale embracing and riding the Kuduro wave, as well as regional artists like Mr. Legs, Problem Child, Patrice Roberts and Shal Marshall lending their voices, artistic style and more importantly their listening fan base to the new genre. Many party goers and music lovers of varied nationalities the world over can be seen enjoying and at times singing Lucian Kuduro songs, which now find themselves on mixes of internationals like DJ Private Ryan. Thrust forward by regional and now international airplay, this St. Lucian born musical art form has escaped our lamentably myopic and restrictive shores to create worldwide Lucian Kuduro buzz.